I'm just going to press play. See this? It's right there. And we've got our pattern going on. See that? This is how we can do it. It's a simple way to do it. It may seem difficult at first, but it's a great way for you to understand the machine and help you to correct patterns and you'll get a stronger understanding how patterns work by watching what's going on right down here. This allows you to see the whole thing go by. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So these four and these four, this four, that four is the first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat, first beat, second beat, third beat, four beat. See that? To understand how those patterns work. So, I just pressed micro view, of course. And we can go ahead and micro view. And we can see what happened. Everything that happened before we already see right here already. But I can go backwards in micro view. And here as the first pattern. See that? As we go by, this tells what's going on. We know this is the hi-hat, this is the snare, this row here are the kick drums. And up here, it tells us the velocity, which is 120, the notes that we hit. The part they belong to, part 10, that note. The position of where it's at in the sequence. See this here? This is all data here. That's our mini data recorder right there. I can go back to switch my view. See, close it. I can go to exit. And I'm back where I was at before from the main overview of the parts and the measures. Now also, when we select copy, we're going to notice that all 16 parts are selected here. See that? If I didn't want to have a part, I would turn off and I wouldn't select that part. See? Let's say if I didn't want this part. Now watch this. If I said I didn't want that part to be selected, it would be grayed out. I'll press that button again. See that? It gets grayed out. So if you don't want a part to be copied, you just press any one of those buttons. See, I don't even want to copy a certain parts. So in this case, I really only want to copy that 10, but these are all on at the same time. This is important to know in case you're doing a whole sequence. So you only want to copy maybe just this, these four parts here. You turn all these off first. Then it'll copy these parts. You press copy, you go about, you pick the length, the source from, source end, and you press that copy. Copy puts it in a copy holder, and then you select the destination to where you want to copy those specific tracks and the specific measures. Once you've got a sequence in, it's kind of cool, we like it. You can do several things to your sequence, obviously. We're back here on our main sequence page. We have the sequence we selected, which is our user 001. Its current location is 3, third measure, third beat. Go back to the top of that measure. If you want to start from the top, which I prefer to do most of the time, I just go to the top here. Then we get back here. It says 1, of course. Now sometimes, you want to slow the tempo down. You can press play. I'll press play. I'll turn this up to here. I may, I may want to slow it down some. And now we're slowing it down. And it's playing the same pattern over. I can close the window. And of course, the next current pattern comes up. This one's in play, which is the same pattern over again. And it comes up like it's going to go, see? It's again. You see it? Perfect. I can go back to BPM, and I really want to get the pattern, the speed I had before I liked a lot. Back to the same speed. I'll press stop. Okay, sometimes you got a beat, you like the beat, and you want to change the sounds. Here's how we can do that. We'll press play. Okay, now I'll press patch. Now see, we press play, we press patch. Now you got to make sure one thing. That that 10 is selected. See it's selected right there? 
we got to make sure it's selected. That way, we can use it. Okay? Now. I can turn my data wheel here. See that? I can flip the different one. See that? Or move the cursor up. So I'm selecting different drum parts for this one. So see what's going on here, I move the cursor up, we hear nothing at all. I did have to let you know that these are other parts of the 16 parts that we can have, or selections we can have for that particular part. Different patches. There are 16 here. So these are 16 patch plays for this pattern. Now down here, I'm actually in 10. See that? So now these are rhythm tracks. These are R next to it. R for rhythm, R, R, R. These are rhythm parts in this patch. So I can change. And since each patch hit before is always going to be a snare, each one of these sets is set up so that I can hear different tracks, different sounds.